Hello everyone, I'm Fresh Prince of Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play episode as Eltharion the Grim, ruler of Ibris. So, over here, well, got a lot of stuff to do, but uh, you know, we did thankfully eliminate Grom's faction, which is a very, very good thing, but a lot more to do here, so what are we gonna do? Well, actually, uh, we just have to do the final battle. I believe we're gonna do that next. And here we can get Student of Hoeth on Henry Cable. It's very good. Thyron is almost level 40, but really we did get everything we wanted on him. We could get the Apotheosis, but uh, none of this here is that great. I feel like maybe we get to... Uh, we, we maxed out all the weapon strength and stuff, so... First things first, let's go through everything and check what's up. And then we go to Eltharion's right. army. For we have Ibris. have a lot of cool stuff here. Prince Eltharion, show so no we have all of these Althel Tamara Faith Bears. We have a bunch of these Sentinels of Astaril too. The thing about I the Evergreen Sport Guards is, yes, they have 20 AP, but this has 26 AP. So there you go. It's pretty interesting. And we do have Shield Breaker on all of those. Again, a very, very important thing. Though these guys, well, these women actually, they have flaming and magical attacks. Again, the Knights of Torg about, and one cap for good measure. We have the Jungle Purge here, which we're not gonna worry about it, you know, because it's too hard. And again, Ivaris defense level is maxed out. We have Riot, so what are we gonna do? Asurian or Hoeth? Uh, yes, let's go Hoeth, because that's gonna help us. Why not? We, we should be doing a Ladriel or Vol in the actual battle, but yeah. Uh, this is okay too. So push that invocation. The mountains call to me. Joy is wanton. And what are we gonna do? Cause this the army is again Prince. just really, really strong. We don't have. Oh, we executed. That. And obviously we have ten upgrades, but everything here is maxed out. In terms of diplomacy, are there any issues? Uh, I mean, yeah. You see, we're not at war with anyone. We're strength rank eleven. We check all the strength ranks. Exodal, Harganeth, Yatain. Well, it's Lothern, obviously, pretty normal. Except, Langrond is not that strong. Uh, so, that's kind of weird. We are getting the rapid resettlement here. So, that's gonna help a lot when we. If we are to conquer more territories, but I don't think so. So, what we're gonna do right now is uh, fairly simple. We're gonna check out this uh, final battle. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it so this might be a very short episode because we're doing that so let's I click it peace. it's interesting that this takes a while so what is this uh, when his dander is sufficiently up and his vitriol is at its most vitriolic grom can be tempted to attack early this is best done only when there's enough confidence in Ubris's ability to withstand an attack however fighting grom now will initiate the final siege of tori Bress and cannot be reversed losing the battle will end the campaign i wondered like we do this, like, is there any different cutscene or something? Like, probably not, but let's click it and see what happens, guys. I'm curious. The Goblin King beats once more upon the gates of Torivris. The fate of all Asur now rests upon Eltharion's solemn shoulders. Survive this green night, else Althuan shall know oblivion. Yeah, that was a pretty quick and uh, short cutscene, so it's, there's a lot of stuff here to read through, which you can read through if you want. Not really gonna go through it. Uh, you can use this to drag it down, but yeah. There you go. So if we finish this, we get one no more. So I was there when fighting as Greenskins, all armies. That's cool, and we get 10k. Wow, 10k? Well, money is good, but we have our money, so... Uh, the Warden of Tori Vress. We have five turns to complete this. We teleport. Yes. So, as you can tell right now, we actually have a decent uh, reinforcement stack here, which we will control ourselves. I'm not going to give it to the AI. This is our army, and as you can see, according to the battle deployment, it's pretty even. And by the way, yeah, you can actually fight Rom, I believe, earliest on turn two. I'm not sure if it's turn one is possible, but I mean, 
even if you could do it on turn one, and uh, I, that's pretty impossible with your army. And I'd say turn two as well. But didn't really try to try hard. It. I tried it only once, and uh, it did not go well. Let's put it at that. So, in terms of armies here, what does Grom de Ponch have? So he has Grom de Ponch. Lots of these guys here. Bunch of goblins, goblin notches. This army is mostly weak, except, you know, we have single entities, we have a couple of black orcs, which are annoying, and these new rogue idols uh, that came with the War in the Pouch DLC, so... Of course, these, these are probably not that impressive units, but yeah, these three over here, pretty tough stuff, and the reinforcements also, another single entity, a giant of all things, catapults, very annoying, a lot of those, and then there's this one. Not the best, uh, I mean, this this army is kind of like much easier to deal with, but this one is also harder, right? Because Pearl Wyvern, Lava Arachnorok Spider, interesting. And there's a bunch of biggins, there's another Black Orc here as well, so it's time to fight. Let's scout the terrain first, you know, uh, they come in from here, we defend this, so it's time to defend. Failure is unthinkable. Yeah, I, failure is unthinkable, because if we die here, it's pretty much GG, so... We have to win. Come on. Grom the Paunch. Take him down. We must avenge the fallen. So there we are. Uh, actually, there's no cutscene here. What? Oh, there should be a cutscene here. Let's do it. I've always known this day would come. Grom the Fat's appetite for destruction knows no bounds. And he has led his foul horde back to the gates of our city once more. Hold the walls as long as you can, my warriors. But if absolutely necessary, we shall fall back and make a last stand in front of the tower. Above all, the Waystone must not fall, for its destruction will be the catalyst for all Althuan's doom. Remember, if the walls are breached, we must retreat through the main gangways. By Lilith's will, their mobs shall follow us right into the enchanted traps set by our mages. May the power of Mathlan and Azir strike them Grom down. will not stop until Tor Ivres is left in flames and rubble. But I have defeated his horde before and will do so again. This time, he will have no escape. I will make sure of it. Oh my god, they actually are already here. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, she's gonna pull back here, select all missiles, group them up, shooty shooty. My god, this is not... Oh, I thought we could actually deploy properly, but we can't. Okay, that's really bad. This is not good, but we're shooting down the rogue idol really quickly, which is good, but yeah. Okay, we send the Phoenix Guard. It's gonna hold frontally here with the Nath El Damarha. And then we send another one like right over here. And then we send yet another one like right over here. Um, hello? No, 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 no. It should be above. And then these two go down here. And then, yes. Actually, they should be on the wall soon. Oh my god, yeah, the artillery is just wrecking us. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna... This should be actually not grouped like that. Um, yes, send the Dragonborn all the way back. Okay, so they're actually gonna arrive here, which is not good. Um, right now, we need to put all of these here. And we're shooting them very nicely to the... Rogue Idol is taking a lot of damage, but we want to go back because they basically breached the walls, which is very bad here. You know, this was not how it's supposed to be. We actually cannot control these units too. It's pretty bad. Thing is, yeah, there's holes there. We need to get out. These took a lot of damage. But you know, Grom the Paunch is gonna arrive with more and more stuff. Yeah, they took out those traps there, which is annoying. But yeah, we didn't have units here, which is a problem. We're still technically holding this. Which is interesting enough, shooting at the Doom Divers there and not doing anything, which is annoying. But our friends here will hold on until they have to, I guess. But. So Altarian, we can actually send him to possibly deal with something. What the hell is this? Well, we have too much, it's too much stuff. Summon the Sentinels, that's pretty good. And summon them, like, say, right 
here, probably. That's one summon, then this. We could pop it over there. That should do some damage. Yeah. Just retreat, boys. Retreat. Everything should retreat. And once we do... Yeah, we're gonna get back here. Green Titan is unrelenting. More of them approach. Yes. Yes, that's what I like to see. Masses and masses of orcs coming down to us. Well, this, the big un, uh, rogue idol here, here is gonna go down. It's already broken and it's retreating, so it's one down. Um, so here, finally, they are... Well, they took the tower, which sucks, but they're actually killing their own troops here. What the hell? What the hell is that? Yeah, they're actually destroying their own troops. And we have our boys here, Spire Guard of Thori Breast. Pretty good, but we do have more Sentinels of Astaril here, which are more capable of doing work. So there you go. Now, there's another Rogue Idol here. That one should be going down. I don't know why it's still alive, but it is. So we're gonna arrive here. Literally every single Sentinel is gonna get here. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, hello? Oh my god, Henry Cable, what are you doing? Oh, this is bad. I need to save him. I need to save him here. Um, give me a nice wind blast. Okay, so now that should allow him to move out, right? No, no, they're already all out. That's not good. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so give me a soul quench on that blob. Black works. Okay, now we should have like two here. Um, Knights of Torgabal, send them over here. Dragon Chris is gonna be in the back. I thought Tamara's over here. We have like more of these boys up here. Oh my god, our Phoenix guards are taking massive damage. Maybe we wanna hold them over there. Okay, so why aren't you jumping in, sir? Yeah, maybe he can do his work, right? So, I'm gonna deploy another one there. there go, that's another nice deployment. It should really be helpful. Another one over there. Green skins have triggered a trap. Where? I don't know. It looks like some of our boys are still fighting here, which is great. Yeah, the rogue idol is going down. It's taking massive damage, as you'd hope it would, right? So, going to disengage that, and here we're just gonna keep shooting them. No! We're gonna waste traps here. Should have engaged these before the trap was engaged, you know, but whatever. Here we need to keep fighting here, because, you know... Oh my god, what's happening to you, sir? What's happening to you, sir? It's not good. However... Come on. Pretty good hit, but not the best, though. Oh my god, what's up with you? Okay, just take him out of here. We're, we have enough support, so, yeah. Okay, so there's more of them coming in. Um, yeah, the shots are doing good. There's feral wyverns and stuff. Very bad. What is this? Perfect vigor. Ooh, okay. Management is very good. Then we have this. Why are we not using it more often? What the hell? probably use it on that I wonder if it does a lot wow okay so if we pop that a few times it's probably gonna do massive work what is this develop and mist okay so here we're again just doing mm, lots of work go another helm of discord that's what you gotta do oh no no, no that didn't help very much but what you gonna do now we're gonna heal all of this because we also got Theron here just the reference yeah, these two can just dish it out on their own. We need to finish this side quickly. Take down the stone trolls. Once we do, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Uh, get another sentinel, probably, if we can, but I guess we can't. Okay, no, 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 we need to pop this. So that's gonna be very important. We need to shooty shooty with all our might. Hello? I know you're firing, but fire more. Yeah, Grom the Paunch is over there, but that's okay. Not, uh, most annoying thing. Okay, give me another, like... Take down Grom the Paunch. Um, 
Okay, so here we're just gonna shoot down the Lava Ragnarok Spider. I have some Dragon Princes still. I could go for Ugrok the smash up maybe with him. So here, this is very good. Uh, we're gonna go Foe Seeker. Really need to take that out. Uh, hello? Wow, why is Rom the Paunch so strong? I need to send the Knights then on him. I need to send some of these back. Though. I'm gonna send an Atel Tamara in front and the rest should be okay. Okay, that's dead. Shoot the next one now. Oh my god, Eltharion's in in deep trouble here. Atheosis him. Take down Grom. Taking down Grom is gonna be huge. Actually. Yes. Uh, now they do have a lot of troops here, so yeah, just disengage there. It's okay. Shoot down the Arachnor. It's very important. Yes, that's pretty much gonna die. We need to shoot down the rogue idol next. Here you shoot down this Morgum, whatever. Whoa, 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 what? How did this Black Orc arrive here in the back? The hell? Did, did they just, just really go around? Probably. Summon more Sentinels. Sentinels always good. Oh my god, what's happening here? That ain't good, guys. Um, okay. Oh, I thought Tamara, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you so far forward? Okay, we're gonna send our lore master out if we can. There's a nice blast here, so we can do our best to help. But no, 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 get out because we're gonna get caught by trolls and stuff here. So that's not very good. We're doing great right now. We did take out these boys. Whoa, the dragon princess. Wait, did we kill one lord here? I have no idea. But these are nasty skulk. No, they're actually orc boys, so kind of easy to take out. To be fair. Okay, just go down here. Um, now get over here with the lore master. Hit the blast attack onto that. That should help. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take care of some of these. It's okay. A lot of their stuff is going back, which is again a very good help. But send this guy out. We wanna channel on. I guess this guy. Um, then there is this again, perfect figure and a lot of other stuff. Yeah, we're gonna go on the Wyvern with everybody. And retreat here, then the Fireborn will actually go for some nice rear charges and stuff. Okay, we need to turn some of these uh, the other way around. The center is kind of okay, there's nothing really there. There's Grom the Paunch, by the way. So where's Grom the Paunch? There he is. Hello, Grom. Use this, perfect figure and stuff. Charge into that. We can get the orc boys here charged. We got a lot of other stuff prepared. Um, we do have this. I guess we can envelop them in mist. I'm not entirely sure how much that actually helps. But there we go. Yeah, we're gonna go chase him. The Knights of Torgaval should do well. We're also gonna debuff here. Again. Oh, look at them. The the snipe squad of Knights of Torgaval is very good. We got another sentinel here we can pop up. It will be done. Nice charge with the DPs. For order. Turn everybody around. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have it right now. We go into those missiles. I fight for Send the Knights of Torgaval back and stuff. Um, yes. New heal. Everybody's healed. Very nice. Um, now the that we get shot another lord is running away should be able to catch him though right yeah okay very nice job here we got into the missiles or did we maybe we didn't get an attack or i have no idea i thought we did though. that's really weird that we didn't actually do anything are you even facing the wrong the correct way you're facing the wrong way okay okay so we can take that guy out and here Probably killed that. There's some giants, so we gotta start facing this way again. Okay, we need to prepare our missiles up front again. They have some units here, but oh, there's biggins. There's biggins. We totally forgot about those. We're gonna come back. We're gonna wipe the biggins here, and that'll do great. The guy here will die, but we need to get into those archers. Okay, shooty, shooty, they. They still have quite a lot of stuff, but 
It's gonna go down soon. Uh, they have no, no hopes. Send the Atom Kamaras back. Place them with three units. Okay, so we're basically gonna kill these. Well, they have calves, so I don't like what they're doing there. Have another ability here, but we have pretty good wins of magic. Yeah, go for the. We don't even need armor piercing against that guy. Actually. Let's use a regular. Oh my god, the friendly fire is really bad here. It's really, really bad. Um, these guys, are they on guard mode? Somebody's not in guard mode, I guess. Right. There you are. They're not in guard mode, too. There are new spawns, so there you go. Come on, chase those and take them out. So here we're doing fine. It's really weird that we're not actually shooty shooting those rare boys, though. Okay, just send the Knights of Torgaval there, whatever. <laughs> okay, so a lot of the stuff is just chain routing now off the field. I think we've won. Basically. Yeah, those are just broken. So, there's that. Oh my god, okay, there's, there's more Orc boys coming, but it's just Orc boys. They keep coming through this gap. That's pretty funny. Just turn some around. Should be fine. Let's get those archers down. Okay, so that's gonna be a nice Fang Sword. Pop the heels on. Actually, Eltharion, he needs it. Everything is routing now, right? So we basically won. Yeah, even the, the artillery didn't manage to do anything. So we've done it. We've won, like, the final battle. I think there's nothing left, right? Yeah, just go for that anyway. There's an invocation that might do something. And victory is ours! I've achieved victory! Defend Thor of Rest from the Greenskin Invasion, defeat Grom the Paunch once and for all. We've done it. Awesome. Very awesome. So, time to end the battle and see what we're gonna get here, because we finished it all, you know. We defeated Grom finally. We didn't even lose that much. Uh, we, yeah, look, like, this was fairly easy. It was not an issue at all. Because, we, I mean, we had a proper army to deal with this. Gold 2 Sentinels of Astaril. Even gold 3 on some of them. Very, very nice. Knights of Torgaval, they're actually really, really good. It's sniping out single entities or, you know, gooning stuff. Quest has been completed. Well, and we got 8 points of wow. only worth is service. Make Let's execute. No. <laughs> they will toil so, some this. got gold 3 in battle. This got silver 3. Forced labor. No. Theron is completely dead, but. Except these two units, apparently. Make their full yeah. masters Whatever. Pay. No, execute. Deserve... The Asur need no longer fear the Goblin King's savage return. Grom is slain, and the Waystones light the path to a better tomorrow. The Warden does not join the celebrations. Other foes will hunger for Ivris. And so Eltharion's grim watch is without end. Wow, so we got the buff for defeating Grom the Paunch. We get plus 10 relations with the Hives. Expected causes terror when fighting against Greenskins. All units in army. So this is not for everyone, but just for the Eltharion. So we did all of this. Uh, and there you go. It... Uh... <clears throat> yep. It has been done. Wa no more. Wait. All armies. So what did he get? There's a trait, right, on Eltharion. Prince Eltharion. Prince Eltharion. He got a trait, right? Um should be right here somewhere, right? Or is it Yes, there you go, the Weight Watcher. Defeated Grom the Paunch, so yes. It's very good. So what happens if we end our turn now? The Warden of After we won. Rest. Curious if anything happens. Do we get like the victory screen or something? Sort of gain rests. Okay. I mean, nobody cares about that. Yeah, I'm curious what happens after we end the turn. Because... Yeah, I mean, jungle purge, really? Yes, we got victory. Vortex victory. That's... Uh, Wanted to see, I guess you can see here the, you know, the feed, uh, it's going up. So, I 
guess. This is probably gonna make it faster if we keep pressing it like this. Or we can also drag like this. It's very cool. Very cool. But yeah, we actually did. Nice. Nice stuff. 80 turns to finish this. I'm sure it can be done earlier if you want to rush rush it. But, you know, I felt like took our time with it because we wanted to, like, discover all the units and all that stuff. Uh, I think we missed some units, though. But, yeah, like, we missed one of the hybrid units, I believe. Not the Sentinels of Astari, or Spire Guard of uh, Tori Vress, but there was another one. I don't know what we missed. But, yeah, there we go. We have one on Legendary, so... It's pretty interesting. I mean, this was the easier campaign of the two. Imric, I would say, is a harder campaign. Uh, at least from what I've played thus far. But yeah, it was uh, quite fun playing this one. So thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you all next time.